So in this video, I'm going to give an update on my bald cypresses, and I'm also going to do a bit of a fairly severe <laughs> root pruning um, and pruning on this one, just to take its first steps into being a bonsai. So it's you and Ellery here making bonsai in Australia, and in this channel, I bring you along with me on my bonsai journey. So if you do have anything that you're interested in me covering in my videos or any comments or the like, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. But look, in this video, yeah, just wanted to, to do a bit of an update on a couple of my bold cypresses. So, um, as you would know if you watched one of my videos from uh, probably about a year and a half to, to two years ago now, um, where I first got my bald cypresses. So um, I got them, you know, fairly fairly young. They've matured a little bit since then, um, but I pruned them back and, and put them into these pots now. Um, since then, I've grown a number of cuttings. So this one here is a cutting I grew maybe a year ago now. Um, and the same for this one here, probably a little bit more recent. Um, I actually initially had two um, two cuttings that successfully started growing out of here, the third one that died, um, but then the, <laughs> one of these died off because it was in, um, yeah, the pop the other, so this one took off, I suppose. Um, and since then, I've also, just in the last number of months, um, grown these two from cuttings as well. So I'm surprised that these worked being, uh, I think it was, eight months ago now that I did the last um, pruning. So I'm surprised they did so well just over a couple of months before going into to winter. Um, but everything is starting to bud now. So you can see um, just the small little, it's kind of focusing on my face there, but you can see the little buds starting to shoot out. Um, so it's a perfect time of the year for me to start pruning them and root pruning. So, um, I will just before I jump into anything crazy, I'm just going to prune back some of the, um, so there's a lot of foliage here, some of it's kind of died back, um, so I'm just getting rid of what I don't want. Um, and the same for some of the, um, the smaller shoots that have kind of come off from locations where I've already got other branches coming out. Um, just just to refine it a little bit, just so that uh, when it does start shooting and get a lot of branches coming out, um, they all start coming from preferably the, the right branches um, and start thickening out the branches that I want to keep. So I'll leave a fair few of those. Um, I like these ones that are kind of coming out more horizontal, so definitely going to keep those. And this one might end up being a new leader, so um, I'm going to keep that. So really not much on this one at all. Um, yeah, just really just kind of giving a <laughs> brief update. Uh, you can see it's kind of grown a little bit thicker there, so I'll let it stay in this pot for another year or so, and then I'll give it a brief room. Now this one here, um, yeah, it's been growing quite vigorously as well. And yeah, so just kind of um, getting rid of a lot of the uh, unnecessary or, or doubled up branches along the trunks. Just to give it a little bit more space, more light kind of gets in there and yeah, get more vigor from the branches I want. And I kind of, when I pruned this last, I was kind of aiming for, um, you know, that this branch to kind of come up and arch over a little bit, and this one here as well. And this one's kind of just taken off straight. Um, and it's pulling a lot of figure into this lower part, but um, I really want more taper and I don't want it to be too high. So I'm just going to get rid of this branch. So yeah, really just kind of pulled it back to, to where I kind of want it. Um, there's a couple more branches that I could uh, get rid of, but um, I'll let that shoot and get a lot more um, kind of bigger up, up here and some of these little branches. Now this one here, I've really just let this one grow so far. And I haven't pruned this back or re-pruned it at all, just let it grow from a cutting. And yeah, it kind of, it's very gradual taper all the way up to the top. So I could let this grow um, and get a whole bunch of vigor um, and then yeah, prune it back and it will kind of end up looking um, kind of like this one has ended up looking where it's yeah, been pruned back to here 
quite severely um, and then there's another branch coming and then yeah you kind of gradually that taper will kind of um, look a lot less abrupt and a lot more natural so um, I will actually leave this one um, to do that so yeah I'll just let it grow get a lot of vigor just so I can really it's in a nice large pot so I can get that th that um, trunk to really thicken out um, and then yeah I'll get a quite nice looking uh, bonsai with time so it's kind of a, a strategy to um, yeah, get thick trunks now with this one however um, it's in a much smaller pot um, kind of just want to take it out give it a bit of treatment And kind of, yeah, given that they're exactly the um, the same kind of thickness at the, the base of the trunk there, it kind of poses a good opportunity for me to um, kind of give a bit of an example over time in terms of um, the outcome difference when you're, yeah, just letting it grow um, in a large pot compared to when you're kind of root pruning it. Okay, so... Um, yeah, pretty good that I decided to, to take it out of the pot because you can see that the um, you can see that the the roots have started to go a little bit wild. So um, you can see there's actually a fair bit of thickness lower down in the, in the trunk, um, but then it's got this one big giant root that's coming out. Um, it just just comes straight out <laughs> and it's massive. So um, yeah, I'm really gonna need to do a bit of root pruning to try and get a nice root base. I'm gonna chop it at a bit of an angle. Nice clean at a bit of an angle so that hopefully um, more roots kind of go out radially from it. Um, so yeah, a massive amount of roots. Just the rest of the roots. Um, yeah, that one there was just kind of sticking up. Few roots coming out a little bit high up above where I want the root plane. It's sticking up crazy high as well. Then kind of drops down too low. These ones come out too far. So yeah, I've got the roots starting to look okay. Because I've pruned that back so far. I'm gonna have to do fairly drastic pruning to the top of the tree as well. So I might leave a bit of foliage. So yeah, really pruning back quite severely. Um, I would ideally like to prune it back a lot further. Um, but I can't see any buds coming out of the trunk further down yet and there are no leaves so uh, yeah I'd like to leave just a few leaves just so we can um, start to get a bit of energy in the interim but uh, yeah might put it in this little tiny pot for now just putting a little bit of soil in the bottom of the pot um, then placing the, the trunk a little bit above so um, yeah just so there's a nice amount of, of soil below the root base. Okay, so we'll just give this a bit of water and put it to the side. So yeah, nothing fancy in this at all. Um, it's really just, yeah, pruning it back just so it can start to kick off. And then, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully it'll bud back a little bit further down this year. Um, and then next time I prune, I can prune back a little bit more severely so we can get a little bit of better taper. But um, yeah, there's the first steps in turning that into Bonsai. All right, so that was my update on my bald cypresses. So if you have enjoyed the video or taken something from it, please leave a like and let me know in the comments if there is anything that you would like me to cover in my future videos. But look, thanks for your time today. Enjoy. Bye.